welcome to my weekly market roundup 3rd may 2020 i am sagarnandi i used to work in information technology mostly based in singapore now i have retired i am living in thailand swing trading stocks using q systems and techniques that i develop you may watch this and other trading related videos on my youtube channel trading profitably and contact me using my email id tradingprofitably@gmail.com i regularly share live stock analysis on my traders forum sagarnandi.com and also on my twitter handle sagarnandi all these resources are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them disclaimer this demonstration is for educational purposes only it is designed to share information on the trading systems and techniques i use the information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading past performance is no guarantee of future return i am not an investment advisor this session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument i will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience as usual i will look at oil and gold using technical charts and then i will demonstrate use of the 360 degrees analysis technique where you align the forces from the market level sector industry level fundamental level and technical level with your trades thereby giving you truly high probability low risk trades what are the systems that i will use for technical analysis charting and scanning i'll use q elite running on trade station and q global in conjunction with q finder running on meta stock for stock fundamental and peer analysis i'll use q vital running on meta stock zenith data for sector industry rotation analysis i will use q edge running on meta stock zenith and for market and index analysis i will use q index also running on meta stock zenith all these systems can be used in full real time mode that was the last slide of my presentation i'll now continue with the live system i'm beginning the commodities analysis with oil etf uso analyzing it with the weekly daily at a glance template this is the single template that you may use to decide if there is a swing trade entry opportunity in only a few seconds oil dropped a lot this week the backdrop candle color turned neutral and it also displayed a headwind possible reversal signal in the last market round up i mentioned that oil is already over sold it was below the lower boundary level in the daily chart that was to extend it to the downside to take any new short trade now the oversold condition has gone away shown by the pull release signal the weekly has displayed the bullish headwind signal there is no q long trade setup right now if in the coming days you get a valid q long trade setup then you may take a long position in us oil gold etf gld in the weekly chart after a sharp move up this week the backdrop candle color has turned neutral and the weekly candle shape is also mixed in the daily after displaying the bearish headwind signal price declined a little bit it is moving inside a narrow range friday's candle color is 
red bearish. If you apply the Q trade setups unambiguous checklist, there is no trade setup in gold right now. After the commodities, I am continuing with the market level analysis using the market ETFs. Starting with the S&P 500 ETF SPY. In the weekly chart, price went up and this week it closed with a bearish shape candle. The backdrop color is still bullish. In the daily chart, price is still going up in an uptrend with higher high and higher low. Friday's candle color and shape both are bearish. The weekly shape is also bearish and the Friday's candle shape is also bearish. If price continues to go down next week, SPY may not give an immediate shorting opportunity. However, you may look for shorting opportunities in fundamentally weak stocks in weak industries. NASDAQ ETF QQQ. Here also the weekly candle shape is bearish, though the backdrop color is remaining cyan bullish. In the daily on Thursday, it displayed the possible reversal headwind signal, bearish headwind signal, and on Friday, price opened with a gap down and closed lower. Friday's candle color is bearish and shape is also bearish. Overall QQQ is still in an uptrend with higher high and higher low. If QQQ continues to go down from here, you may look for shorting opportunities in weak fundamental stocks. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA it is looking very similar to SPY. The weekly candle shape is bearish. In the daily, price broke below the memory support line on Friday. Friday's candle color and shape both are bearish. Dia, like the other ETFs, looking more likely to go down from here than up. Russell 2000 ETF IWM. This is the only ETF that closed higher this week. It had closed higher one week ago also. All the other three market ETFs, SPY, QQQ and DIA, they all declined for the two weeks. Whereas IWM is the only market ETF that went up for the two weeks. Still, this week's candle shape is overall bearish, though the color is remaining bullish, similar to the other ETFs. In the daily, IWM displayed a headwind possible reversal signal on Thursday and on Friday, price dropped with a gap down. In the daily, there is a memory support line nearby. Therefore, even if price continues to go down next week, IWM may not give an optimal shorting opportunity. Instead, you may look for shorting opportunities in fundamentally weak small cap stocks if IWM continues to go down. After the market level analysis, I am continuing with the sector level analysis. Let's first look at the snapshot of one week ago. This is one month sector performance, but one week ago. At that time, over one month, all the sectors were up. Over 10 days, four sectors were up and seven sectors were down. Over five days, three sectors were up, eight were down we could see that gradually the sectors were weakening. This is what we saw one week ago.
and now this is the same one month sector performance as of Friday's market close. Over one month, the 11 sectors are still up. Over 10 days, the performance has improved. Eight sectors are up and three are down. And this week, over five days, again, performance has improved. Eight sectors are up and three sectors are down. Which sectors are down? These are utilities, healthcare, and consumer staples. These are in defensive areas. That is tending to show that the sector level over five days period is strong and it is stronger than one week ago. How the sectors moved from previous week to this week is clearer from this sector performance graph this week versus previous week. One week ago, three sectors were up, eight sectors were down. And this week, eight sectors are up and three are down. Energy is the best performing sector both this week and in the previous week. Utilities looks like the worst performing sector. Two sectors, utilities and consumer staples, are down for two successive weeks. And two sectors, energy and information technology, are up for two successive weeks. All the other sectors, healthcare, communication services, financials, industrials, materials, real estate, and consumer discretionary. They flip-flop between positive side and negative side. Though the weekly period is showing sectors improving, if we look at more detailed data, one week sector performance, and look at the bars for 5-day performance, 2-day performance and 0-day that is real-time Friday's performance, we can see the sectors are starting to weaken from Thursday that continued into Friday. Over 5 days the sectors are strong, 8 sectors went up, 3 went down. However, on Friday all the sectors went down. And over two-day period also, that is Thursday, Friday, all the sectors went down. We saw that only two sectors were up for two successive weeks. Those were energy and information technology. These were the only two sectors that went up this week as well as previous week. However, both of them declined rapidly over two-day period and also on Friday. And all the sectors came down Thursday and Friday. That is showing that though the weekly period strengthened, at the end of the week, the sectors declined rapidly. The market ETFs as well as the sector graphs show you how the market is transitioning from strength to weakness. There is another very useful Q tool that helps you understand the transition that is Q Finder. Here in Q Finder you can see all the long signals as well as short signals under various categories. The signals on the left point to prevailing trend continuation and the right hand side signals point to prevailing trend reversal. Keeping an eye on this graph helps you understand how the market is transitioning from strength to weakness. I 
illustrated that using a tweet on May 2nd. Here I attached snapshots from QFinder on three different days. Let's have a look at them. This snapshot is from 28th April 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. QFinder, like all other Q systems, can be used in full real-time mode. And using the real-time mode, I saw that as of 28th April 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the trend continuation signals were still more bullish than bearish. The green bars were overall bigger than the red bars. Whereas the trend reversal signals were showing that the trend is starting to reverse because the red bars were bigger than the green bars. So the trend was still more bullish, however, reversal was starting to take hold. That was on 28th April. Let's look at the next snapshot. This is a snapshot I shared in the YouTube live session that I conducted on 30th April. After market close. And in this picture, you can see that the train continuation signals were more bearish. The red bars were much bigger than the green bars. And the reversal signals were also overall more bearish. Comparing the previous graph of 28th April and the graph of 30th April, you could clearly see that the market was starting to weaken and in fact at that time looking at the large number of bearish headwinds I looked for headwind reversal trade setups and I could take some very profitable trades using the Q headwind short setup. I will review one of those trades soon but let me continue with this QFinder graph. This graph was shared on 30th April. Let's see the next graph. This is the graph as of 1st May, that is this Friday after market close. And now you can see the trend continuation signals are clearly more bearish than bullish. The red bars are much bigger than the green bars and overall the trend reversal signals are also more bearish than bullish. If you kept an eye on the Q signals shown by this graph in QFinder and you added that insight to the information you could gather from the sector rotation graphs and the market ETFs, you could clearly see when the market was starting to weaken. How could you use that information? You could start to book profit in your long positions and start to look for short trades. If you see my forum posts where I analyze stocks using the live market data, you will see that over last two weeks or so, my trades were predominantly on the long side. However, if you see my last few trades, you will see they are starting to be on the short side. How could I accurately switch my preferred trade direction from long to short as the market was starting to weaken? I could do that because I was looking at the market holistically using the market ETFs to look at the market level, using the sector graphs to look at the sector level, and also looking at the Q signals from Q Finder, thereby looking at a complete picture from the stock level as well. 
now based on the market sector and q finder analysis i am in a position to make a call on my market outlook and also prefer trade direction all the market etfs are showing bearish shape candle in the weekly chart however the color is remaining bullish in the daily chart they are showing higher high higher low however weakening over thursday and friday several market etfs displayed bearish headwind possible reversal signal in last few days looking at that i am keeping my market outlook to be neutral what about preferred trade direction not only the market etfs but a large number of stocks displayed bearish headwind possible reversal signal in last few days and on friday i saw from q finder that the number of bearish signals both for trend reversal setups as well as trend continuation setups are more on the bearish side based on that i am making my preferred trade direction to be bearish my market outlook is neutral however preferred trade direction is bearish in fact using real time information i could take some very profitable bearish trades and i shared them using live analysis on the traders forum let me review a few of them this is my traders forum sagarnandi.com here you can find articles under different categories i share live stock analysis possible trading ideas under the category sagarnandi's trade ideas let's look at some of them this is the last trade idea that i shared are you starting to look for short trades what about this stock let's look at that post i shared that 3 days ago 30th april and as usual i attached the live snapshots the stock was marvel you could identify it from q sonar this is a snapshot from q elite running on trade station sonar is working on radar you can see instantly that marvel gave a breakout short trade setup and also a possible headwind reversal short trade setup this is how you could identify the trade idea on that day then i looked at the at a glance chart in the daily it displayed a bearish headwind signal and price broke below the memory support line the weekly candle shape was bearish if you applied the q trade setups and ambiguous checklists this was giving a possible headwind trade setup and also a breakout short trade setup i tend to take trades using the 360 degrees technique that means i am not going to take a trade only based on technical setup i am going to look at its fundamentals and industry also and i attached those snapshots as well from q edge real time sector industry rotation analysis tool i could see that marvel's industry semiconductor was starting to weaken it was cyan meaning stronger earlier and in the latest periods it was starting to weaken then i looked at the fundamentals of the stock using q vital fundamental and peer analysis tool it was overvalued you could instantly know that from the magenta color under the valuation score and the earnings growth was also negative for the last 3 quarters 
the stock was fundamentally weak both in terms of valuation as well as in terms of earnings growth. I call this star candidates in this case star candidate for a short trade in terms of fundamentals. Therefore using the Q360 degrees analysis technique I could identify a trade in real time that was a headwind reversal trade setup as well as a breakout short trade setup. The stock was Marvel, it was fundamentally weak and the industry was weakening. How did the trade do? I followed up with a snapshot. This was the day when I took the short trade and very next day it opened with a gap down and continued to fall. As of the time I shared this snapshot, my trade using put options, simple put options already had more than 145% profit using the mid price of the put options, bid and ask prices. Because the profit was already more than 100%, you could decide to book partial profit. You might close half of the lots, thereby get your money back and then you could try to let profit run on the remaining position, making sure that the trade was entirely risk-free from that point onward. Let me give you one more trade idea that I shared using live market analysis and this idea I shared on my YouTube channel trading profitably. I shared it on the YouTube live session on 30th April. That was the day when I took the trade. In that YouTube live session on 30th April I shared this stock EGHT 8. This is the weekly daily at a glance template that I analyzed in the YouTube live session. In the weekly it was reversing from memory trend line resistance and in the daily also it was reversing from memory trend line resistance. On that day the flow candle color in the daily chart turned magenta that was bearish. I suggested taking a short trade at that point and trying to book profit at the next memory support line. When I looked at the technical charts and identified this possible bounce short trade setup, I also looked at its industry and fundamental scores and found those to be weak. Let me look at its fundamentals and industry scores using live systems as of today. Before using Q-Vital Q-Edge for the stock EGHT, let me point out that I have released enhanced versions of Q-Edge, Q-Vital, Q-Index and Q-Finder this weekend. You may visit this category on my forum you download and install and download the latest versions. I'm going to use the latest versions in today's session. This is Q Vital. I'm going to do a fundamental and peer analysis for the stock EGHT, the same stock that I shared in the last YouTube live session. I typed the stock name and the peer relationship I selected as industry, it retrieved all the peer stocks of eight and calculated the fundamental vital statistics. Instantly, from the color coding, you can see that valuation is overvalued. Magenta color shows that under valuation score. And if you look at the earnings growth, it is negative. This is what I call a star shorting candidate in terms of fundamentals. What about its industry? 
I can click the cog icon from Cube Vital to look up the industry strength or weakness for this industry. It's industry application software. Let me do that. And instantly, QA shows that the industry application software is weakening. Earlier, the score was in cyan color, and now it is turning magenta, showing that the industry is weakening. Once again, I found a 360 degrees trading opportunity where the technicals were giving me a bounce short trade setup. The fundamentals were weak. I got a star shorting candidate in terms of fundamentals and the industry was also weakening. And I could short it just as the price was reversing from memory resistance, both in weekly as well as daily charts. How is the stock today? This is 8 as of Friday's market close using the same at a glance weekly daily template. In the weekly, price is continuing to drop from the memory resistance. In the daily also, it is continuing to drop. I shared the short idea on this day. Very next day, it opened with a gap down and closed lower. It is coming close to the initial profit target, the memory support line. The trade already has significant profit for a short term swing trade. As soon as price comes close to the memory support, Q traders would book at least partial profit. And they may hold partial position with trading stop, trying to let profit run on the remaining position. Before I end, let me illustrate one of the cool new features in QVITA. Q Global running on Metastock has all these Q scans. Sometimes they give a few stocks in the result, and if it is handful of stocks, you may look at them using technical charts one by one. Q at a glance template. But if the scan returns large number of stocks, Instead of looking at technical charts first, you may look at the star candidates, be it on the long side or short side. Now you can transfer the symbols with a single click from any of these Q scans to Cubehiter. For example, if you want to look at the stocks returned by this combo scan, QFinder signal long, you could look at the result, right click, copy all. Now go to Cube Vital homepage and click the Explorer icon. That is going to bring you all the stocks from Explorer with a single click and it is retrieving data about those stocks and calculating vital statistics. Once the calculation is complete, you may go to the stocks detail fundamental statistics. Now instead of looking at all the stocks because they came from combo scan for Q signals on the long side, you may use these new smart filters to look at only the fundamentally strong stocks. You could use the star candidates filter that will show you only stocks that are both undervalued as well as having earnings growth. You may look at those first and if that list doesn't give you any trade, you may expand the list to look at trade candidates. Trade candidates will give you stocks that are having either undervaluation or earnings growth, either of them and star candidates will look for stocks meeting both of those criteria. Because this list is quite big, let's try to find star candidates on the long side first. And you can see instantly, with a single click, you now have a much shorter list of stocks that are having both undervaluation as well as earnings growth in the latest quarter. Now, you may look at these stocks using Q at a glance template and also using Q edge 
to look at their technicals and industry strength respectively. You may use this feature not only with the combo scan, any scan that you run, for example, if you are looking for stocks at price extreme low, maybe you are trying to prospect stocks that are at very low price and see if you find any fundamentally strong stock. This scan has given me 175 stocks today. That is as of Friday's market close. Instead of looking at all the 175 stocks, I can now click on the tabular area, copy all, go to Q Vital, Home, click the Explorer button. It's going to get me these 175 stocks, retrieving data about those stocks from Refinitiv, and you can see very fast it calculated the fundamental scorecard. I can go to the stock tab and again click the start candidates. Instantly I have a much shorter list of stocks that are both undervalued and having earnings growth. Now I may look at their industry strength and technicals to find the optimal buy setups. You may carry out this exercise both for long candidates as well as for short candidates. That is all that I plan to cover in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in my next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.